What's up everybody, peace keep day, you guys, welcome back to the Town Hall 13, where we have some heroes, but we have a hero that we want to upgrade today, but before we do that, I think we have, we got, we got to do an attack, and we have some of the clan capital as well going on, um, we have two builders, so we'll work on that soon, but I want to do a clan capital raid, uh, I did two so far, uh, I did three, sorry, but basically it will be four, because we get the extra attack. Uh, but we're just going to be trying to look for something that we can clean up. Well, not really clean up. Trying to fix one up for our clan mates. Because that's what we normally try to do. So let's see if we can find one that I think I can start um, picking off. I will save the others for the um, other clan mates that actually needed the extra attack. I think it's better uh, for us. So what I'm going to do is we do like the standard one. Archers and the, um, what's it called? What are these called? The um, battle rams. I tend to do it this way so that when I um when the when it comes to the battle rams we're able to open a lot of the base so that my clan mates can decide which attack they want to use after um after me or whatever. So um stinky archers are like that's probably like one of the best openers to have to be honest. Um because we're able to look for traps, pick off a lot of buildings and they work to suit for um being able to have another attack uh, to pick off the base. So I'm just trying to get like these objectives. So mainly for my objectives for the um archers is try to pick off some big um buildings, and you can see the big buildings are meaning a bit like the scatter shots. No, you scatter. Where is the same scatter shots? I'm not in, in the main village. Um, the rocket artilleries, the crushers because sometimes they are um a pain to go through. So like the crushers, even the rocket artillery, if I can get to it. I'm mainly just trying to pick off buildings that um going to be very uh, significant to helping my clan mates um crush the base after me so i'm going to try to like basically set like a big funnel for them uh especially if they say that they want to use ground afterwards um i tend to use and uh, the single archers with a lot of the ram the battle rams so they can open like a lot of the base so that it will help them um choose which armor they want to use if they want to use air or use ground as well because i try to take out as much air um targeting stuff as possible um i do that so they can pick and choose which army they want to use um i'm gonna send another ram a uh, battle ram there oh battle ram didn't actually go where i thought it was gonna go but it does open up that compartment which i do not mind at all um i want to drop a ridge right here and i'm going to say right there because if they decide if my climate decided to start from the top they be able to have a um use that rage to their um benefit. I'm just gonna use another one of those over there. Uh, we just got the rocket artillery, so the next rocket artillery will be on the other side. If they decide to attack over here, they can use their rage um as well. So I think I'm gonna use my last of archers right here. And I have some lightning spells, I'll just use it over here um as well just to do some damage there. So I think not a bad opening. Um, probably two more attacks can definitely get this cleaned up. Um, we'll see how that goes. Or even one more attack. If someone uses the golem, and they'll be able to probably get through that pretty quickly. We will see how that goes. Now, over to the main village. We're going to attack. Let's use this, and then we will start our upgrades um, as well. I believe I have a lot of loot in the treasury. Um, just from like random wars and... Um, as well, I believe some star bonus loot. So I'm not 100 sure how much I have, but I believe it's an okay amount of loot uh, that we can actually start doing some upgrades, which will either be walls, heroes, whatever we have that needs upgraded. Because we definitely need to keep the heroes going. Um, I believe the RC is level 11, I believe. So RC needs like nine levels left, and then the king and queen needs to king and queen both need to go to level 75. Uh, I believe if I'm 100 correct, they do need to go to 75. And then the ground warden is just down right now um, as well, trying to keep him going, trying to keep grinding out the elixir on him. Because when the elixir is done on the ground warden, we're just going to be dumping the rest of the elixir into the laboratory and walls. That's like the big main thing because I want to use um, red metals or CW metals or anything dark lit away. So when the dark lit out of the um, laboratory, we can just basically spend every single drop of dark lit on heroes and keep them going till till they are of max because it, it won't be too long i i want to say 
um but it will be a little bit a little while before we before we do match them and then we're going to start basically on the when the town hall is done we need to start from the bigger upgrade so you can see it will take some time um town 13 does take a while to, to actually complete um so you have to actually go from there uh keeping the heroes going in 24 7 when you can and just working from there and doing a lot of um see the bell gaining medals and then working to suit uh, from there that's just the life of the free to play player so we got a ton of 12 here i think we will attack it because why not the elixir is always good and the gold is not not the best but the dark elixir for sure is what you always want you always want to be going in that dark elixir because you have king queen and rc <laughs> all dark elixir so you can see where the grind is for sure so the queen is in here um i want to break the queen in Break the queen in there. I'm using my standard Valkyries because why not? Who doesn't like to use Valkyries? I love I like using Valkyries. Um, Valkyries I've used Valkyries from Dawn 9, so Valkyries are something I enjoy to use. Um, we use the Ice Clown. So this is mainly just like a, a modified army that I use um, back then when I did trophy push the lens together at Dawn 9. So this is mainly, this is mainly just a modified army because Ice Clowns weren't in the game. Um, so this is just a modified army, and I, I believe I ended up I ended up adding a Pekka because this army was actually Klaus's army uh, when he used it at Tunnel 10. So I basically, like I said, basically just modified it um, by adding a Pekka and, and what's not. And it works really well. It works really, really well um, for sure. And you can get basically get like a pretty safe two star sometimes. Why did I use the RC there? But um, we did still get two star as a as I predicted, uh, yeah, pretty safe to star army. Um, if you need an army, you can definitely use this one. It gets the sentry base, takes the loot that you need, and then you go. Like we just did, we took some of the dark cuts up, we took out the middle, we got the town hall. We didn't get the um, clan castle sadly, because I, I wanted the queen to actually walk down to go into this compartment, but she ended up walking up, so we just had to change our plan. Um, so, but nonetheless, 65%, I will take that. We took a 5k dark elixir, so that's like basically the main thing I was going for. Um, and we got that and did. Um, let us collect the clan castle loot. We, well, we have a we had a lot than I expected. I didn't expect it had that much. Uh, so now elixir. Uh, we have this. Hmm. We have that, and I really think we should do that. And I think we may actually end it up. Um. Build, taking off our builders, I think, because we still need to get this the log launcher log. I forgot you get the log launcher at tall thirteen. I don't know why I expected, but we be uh, unlocking the log launcher. So sixteen days, sixteen mini elixir in three to one, bam. And I believe that is done too. If I'm one hundred percent sure, I believe that, that is done. So the workshop is gonna be done in sixteen days. That's a big grind. Um, but now we have gold and elixir. So for me, I, I go to dark elixir. Sorry. So for me right now, the gold would have been good to like upgrade one of these because I really want to get those done. Um, but I don't want to be sitting on some dark elixir. So sadly, we may just need to do wall with gold. <laughs> we have to do that. I think, do we have, we do have a book of build. We do have a book of everything. Hmm. We have a book of everything. That's a very good thing, but I really want to save that book of everything. That's like probably one of the rarest books in the game. Uh, so what I want to do right now, I'm just going to do some walls. Yeah, we're going to have to save that book. If I had a book of heroes, for sure I would definitely spend it and then drop a scatter. But we will we'll save um, that for now. We, we have to save that for now. So now the hero that we'll be upgrading is between the king and the queen. And I really want to keep the queen because I'm doing queen walks. Um, so we'll do the king because we definitely need to keep, keep the king on track with the queen. So 2.7k dark elixir, 7.5 day upgrade in 3 to 1. Bam. And he's going to 68, keeping the queen and the king to to to. We do need to keep RC going, but we, we uh, she's 60. She's like pretty, she is expensive, but her day is pretty cheap. But I want to get the king and queen on pace with each other. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully the upgrades were pretty okay. Um, as well, we did. We will be unlocking another siege machine, which will be the log launcher, which is actually pretty cool. Um, that's another set of armies that we can definitely stink stick our teeth in with having the log launcher. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time.